Welcome to Gluten-Free Gourmet. Today I'm making three ingredient slow cooker Italian beef. I'm not exaggerating when I say I think this is the recipe I've made the most in my life. It's my go-to for a low prep dinner and I use it often when taking a meal to someone. The beef is comforting and deeply flavorful after being slow cooked all day. So let's get started. I start with a very hot cast iron skillet that I cover with olive oil. You really wanna make sure that your pan is hot, otherwise your meat won't sear well, and the sear is the secret to all the flavor in this beef. I have about three pounds of beef here. This is a chuck roast. I'd recommend using a chuck roast. I just drop that in. And then I salt the side um, that's facing me really well. It's a fairly thick piece of meat, so you want to be sure it's well salted. After about five minutes of searing on that side, I'll flip it. And you want to get a really nice golden sear again, so it does take about five minutes per side. And here I'm just pressing the meat down to be sure I have good contact with the pan. And then I add salt to this side. I tend to add pepper once it's in the pan, or once it's in the slow cooker, just because I don't want to burn the pepper. Then I remove the meat into the slow cooker. And this is just the base that I use for um, my beef base. It's easier than having a bunch of jugs of beef base in my house. So I just add a teaspoon of that to water and it makes beef base. And then I add that to the pan, as you can see. And at this point, I'm just trying to get all those flavor bits off the bottom of the pan. Then I just take all that flavorful liquid from the pan and add it to the beef. Our last ingredient is sliced pepperoncini peppers. And for a two and a half or three pound cut of meat, I'll use about a third of the jar. That's peppers and liquid. These peppers add a vinegary, slightly spicy bite, and they just really elevate the flavor of the beef. Now I just place my lid on the slow cooker, and then I'll set it to low for about six to eight hours. It usually only takes six for me. After six to eight hours, you have some gloriously tender beef. All you need is a couple forks and it'll fall right apart. For those that aren't gluten-free, I would just serve this up on French rolls. But for myself, I just get a deep bowl and put some meat in the bottom. And then I add homemade croutons made out of gluten-free bread. And this actually adds some added crunch and flavor, and it's just really good um, as opposed to eating it just plain. I haven't found any gluten-free rolls that I find not to be too dense for my taste. So this is just a really nice way to have the Italian beef. This recipe really does have a lot of payoff for a little bit of work. So let me know if you try it and I'll see you next time on Gluten-Free Gourmet.